So good evening, guys. Welcome to the to the live show uh, with me. Uh, I'm uh, I'm your uh, favorite mentor, so to say, Arun Sharma here, and uh, I'm discussing uh, actually life solving the CSAT 2022 paper that was just held one and a half uh, two hours ago, and um, uh, just wanted to go help you go through those questions. Those of you who given the UPSC exam today and are following our channel, we uh, just wait for that, and of course. Uh, I'm live on the Arun Sharma Mind channel. I'm live on, on YouTube uh, you know, with my with Arun Sharma channel also, and I'm also live on the uh, on the LinkedIn on my LinkedIn profile. So um, so without any further ado, of course the video will be available after the live session also. So without any further ado, let me uh, just uh, uh, let me just organize my my screen before I share it with with you guys. And uh, uh, pretty. I mean, first, my first uh, reaction as I opened this uh, uh, this this session, uh, this this paper, and my first reaction as I was looking at Hi Raj, welcome to the session. And my first reaction as I was looking at the paper, the CSAT paper, uh, was that uh, almost I, I got a feeling that I'm solving the, I'm solving quants questions from the CAT. उसी तरह का लग रहा था कि मतलब awesome मतलब बहुत I mean मुझे तो मतलब of course if you if you put a rapture you'll enjoy it but people in the rapture kharab ho i think a lot of people are going to have a tough time um, in this paper uh, what is what is your uh, what, what is your uh, uh, reaction raj and others kaisa laga tha before i start the questions let me know mai bhi uh, इसको यूट्यूब पे अपना लाइव सेटअप भी कर ले रहा हूँ गिव मी सेकेंड एंड ऑफ कोर्स दो आर वॉचिंग इट लेटर यू गैस कैन फॉरवर्ड दिस पार्ट दिस थिंग एंड एंड आई मीन दिस इज समथिंग आई वाज ऑलवेज टॉकिंग अबाउट इन द फैक्ट दैट सी सैट को लोग बीच में थोड़ा लाइटली लेने लगे थे कि ओनली थर्टी थ्री परसेंट एक्सेट्रा But aptitude test with 33% sometimes can be made uh, very difficult to get, or you just need to look at that exams and understand uh, what 30%. I mean, only if you get a, if you get a 33% score, you are approximately 90 to 93 percentile in the exam, which means only 7% people go get that. I'm quite sure you PC people have not to get that. They don't understand it, or they don't understand it. They don't understand it. They don't understand it. They don't understand it. Hence, uh, uh, you will you will always have that, uh, that that possibility, and that that's typically the good quality question, easily solvable questions. A blend is always uh, always there. So let me just uh, uh, share my screen without any further ado. Let's get down to the business of uh, of solving uh, of solving the CSAT for today, right? Let's let's start uh, uh, looking at uh, at the paper, and uh, I'll just. Share my screen, and I will minimize myself here. Right, I hope you can see this. So I was just going through my. my I mean, I have not seen the whole paper. I was just glancing at it, and I some saw some very uh, nice questions, and uh, this thing so kind of gives uh, us an, uh, a perspective that CSAT is an important uh, component of the UPSC exam now. So I'm for the time being, I'm skipping the verbal, the reading comprehension part because that's. Something I've not really solved, so I'm just going through live with you on the on the uh, uh, reasoning and quant questions, and we'll try to solve as many of them as possible. आज जो हम लोग देखते हैं कितना कर सकते हैं उसके बाद I might uh, continue this tomorrow. So question number four, what is the value of x in the sequence? So इसमें basic principle होता है कि uh, you have to look at additions, subtractions, multiplications, divisions, etc. What's happening? and then you have to start to think about is it an increasing addition increasing subtraction increasing multiplication increasing division etc so yahan pe x ki value nikalni hai aapko so isme uh, if you see this 20 10 10 and 15 the spotting is uh, if you if you know if you have got your mind set on what uh, kind of uh, things you are looking for so ye ek increasing multiplication hai in 2.5 into 1 into 1.5 into 2 Into 2.5, and hence the next number will be into 3. So 75 into 3 will be 225, and option D will be the right answer in this question. 
तो दिस वाज एन इजी स्पॉट अगर अगर तुमने इसको इसको समझ लिया था एंड ऑल दोस इफ यू आर फॉलोइंग दिस चैनल इवन इफ यू आर गिविंग दिस फॉर अदर एग्जाम्स इट माइट बी अ गुड आईडिया फॉर यू टू हैव अ लुक एट दिस बिकॉज़ अच्छा क्वालिटी का पेपर है सो इट्स इट्स ऑलवेज फन टू सॉल्व दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन अब ये क्वेश्चन 8 जो है क्वेश्चन 5 जो है ये कंप्लीटली कैट के I mean, write down, write down the uh, the cat throat, so to say, in terms of the kind of quest questions you get in the quants there. So I'm just opening a new uh, window here. It's called run karna. Every question pe new window opening hai hum. Or is kum log? We'll keep looking at this. So let's look at this question. So what this question is saying? A B C D E F G. So I've got A B C D E F G. I've got A B C D E F G. And those of you who don't know about it, we are uh, we we just a couple of months before the CSAT, we launched uh, uh, at, on the Arun Sharma Mindworks uh, 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 website. We we did launch uh, on on the Mindworks uh, course. We launched a one year subscription to the CSAT. So those of you who are interested in preparing for CSAT 2023 can uh, avail of that uh, uh, of the subscription. So offers etc. We we will put links on uh, later on this video. So you can have it this thing. So A B C D E F G is uh, has the number not necessarily in that order. Has the number A B is not necessarily when each letter represents the distinct digits. One two four five seven eight nine. One two four five seven eight nine. So if I just look at this three seven twelve nineteen twenty seven thirty six. Our sum is thirty six here. So, why I'm talking about that is because the first uh, information given to me here is the number is divisible by nine. So, so all the digits are used. So, some digits used over the nine step now divisible over because some of digits being thirty six, a number of some of digits thirty six will have uh, divisible by nine. So, after deleting the first digit from the right, the resulting number is divisible by six. मुझे मुझे ये नहीं लग रहा कि I mean why are the uh, why are they saying not necessarily in that order? I think वो इरेलीवेंट है वहां पे मेरा फर्स्ट रिएक्शन तो वही है यहां पे भी एंड दिस लाइफ सॉल्विंग आई मीन आई हैव नॉट सॉल्व्ड दिस क्वेश्चन बिफोर आई एम सॉल्विंग दिस इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड ट्राइंग टू मेक आउट व्हाट्स हैपनिंग देयर इन दिस क्वेश्चन सो द नंबर इज इक्वल टू 9 आफ्टर डिलीटिंग द फर्स्ट डिजिट फ्रॉम द राइट द रिजल्ट नंबर इज इक्वल टू 6 सो 6 इक्वल नंबर अगर डिविजिबल होता है सो वी आर लुकिंग लुकिंग एट द सेवन डिजिट नंबर ए बी सी डी एफ जी तो सिक्स से डिविजिबल होता है तो दिस दिस नंबर इज डिविजिबल बाय सिक्स सो फॉर इट टू बी डिविजिबल बाय सिक्स इट हैज टू बी इवन इट हैज टू बी इवन एंड डिविजिबल बाय थ्री दिस आर टू कंडीशंस फॉर दिस टू बी डिविजिबल बाय सिक्स सो फॉर दिस टू हैपन दैट मींस दिस डिजिट इज आइदर टू और फोर और एट दिस सिक्स डिजिट इज आइदर टू और फोर और एट राइट एंड Uh, otherwise, and the other thing is that uh, if this is divisible by this has to be divisible by three, so from thirty-six, this digit has to be dropped out, and then you have to have a divisible by three here, right? You have to have a divisible by three here. After after that, uh, so so when you look at this, so nine agar hatate, so this becomes twenty-seven. So it's possible that I can remove nine. If I remove eight, if this digit was eight. Then the sum of digits here becomes 28, or here the sum of digits is 28. So three digits are not divisible. First is six digits. Seven is not divisible. Then it will be 29. So seven is not possible. Five is not possible. Four is not possible because this will become 32. Uh, two is not possible because this will become 34. And one is not possible. Then it will be 35. So what is very clear at this point is uh, with this analysis, what is very clear, and and yeah, yeah, this please remember, C sat is a Is a one and a half minute per question exam. Eighty uh, minutes, one uh, twenty. Uh, sorry, eighty questions, one twenty minutes. So, us context me this. This is the long question. I mean, anybody solving this paper, if you are aiming for thirty three percent, you should leave this question uh, essentially. But I mean, because I mean, the question we have made is nine. Let me just check that. Twenty eight, twenty nine, twenty thirty one, thirty two, thirty four, thirty five. Okay. so this is a nine you confirm again or after deleting two deleting two digits from the right the original number of, of the original number the resulting number is 5 so if i'm deleting these two digits 
the remaining number is divisible by 5. So divisible by 5 only happens if the unit digit is 5 or 0. So that means this is clearly 5. Yeah, clearly 5. Yeah, fix okay. After deleting three digits from the right, from the right of the original number, the resulting number is divisible by 4. So, so that means if I'm deleting uh, three digits, that means I'm deleting these three digits. So the first four digits of the number are divisible by four. So if the first four digits of the number are divisible by four, uh, with the digits available for me, uh, which is one, two, four, and seven and eight, I can have multiple uh, values here. I can have one, twelve. If I use a one here, so one, twelve ho sakta hai. Uh, Aga, uh, 114, 117, 118 may use sakta hai. Agar mein 2 use karo, to 24 ho sakta hai. Agar mein 4 use karo, yaha pe, to 48 ho sakta hai. Agar mein 7 use karo, to 72 ho sakta hai. Or agar mein 8 use karo, yaha pe, to 84 ho sakta hai. So I've got 5 possibilities for these two digits. Ye dhono digits ke liye 5 possibilities man raha hai. Thik hai, uske baad kya bol raha hai? After dealing 4 digits, digits from the right, the resulting number is used by 3. So, ye char digit delete karne ke baad, agar char digit mein delete karo, I'm talking about this number. Only the first three digits. Let me use the different, amazing, I mean, this, this question is, is uh, something that people solving a CAT exam will find it, uh, uh, find it difficult to solve. Literally. I can show you uh, CAT uh, 2021. I can, I can show you maybe 10 questions out of 22 which will be much easier than this, than this question. So, ab, ab kya hai mera? Uh, uh, ye digits. Um, <laughs> ye, ye wale digits. Mera se se raho ki, abhi itna kaam kar raha hai is question over there. Right? In a qualifying exam. So, this is like almost, uh, uh, almost, almost uh, harakiri to, to actually solve this. Because ye, uh, literally, uh, if this question is asked, in a parallel exam like CAT, uh, I think they'll give you at least nine marks for this. After deleting five digits from the right, the resulting number is four digits. This should be divisible by three. Now, I have digits here. If I have 12 use here, first case, five cases. Now, check five cases. Uh, I can logic a little logic or one more. These five cases, this one case, 2-4. Please remember, we are talking about a seven-digit number. Now we are talking about the third four-digit. This one case is 4-8. And this one case is 8-4. Why can't it happen? Why can't it happen? It's not coming from here. It's coming from the next statement. After deleting five digits from the right of the original number, the resulting number is divisible by 2. That means this is even number. In this list, 1-2-4, 5, 7, 8 times, us may say 2, 4, 18 even digits. Or 1 even here, pe hai, this digit. Or 1 even here, it's pakka. Or 1 even here, it's not even digit. Nahi ho sakta hai, is, the, is the thing. So actually, 5 options here, and here, 2 options. Ho jate hai. But I'm either at 112 or 712. So at this point, maybe. Uh, so much, so much writing, so much uh, twists and turns in this question. And at this point, I might want to say that okay, I want to, I want to clean a sheet. So I'm talking about two kinds of numbers, seven-digit numbers. This is definitely nine. This is definitely five. This is an even number. This is an even number. This is an even number. So my three even digits, two, four, eight. So and and I've got a possibility of uh, twelve there. And a possibility of a possibility of 72 here. So whatever I do, what is clear is two is fixed in this place. And five. And the focus is in this question, the focus is to lie is to find the sum of the middle three digits because that's what they're asking. Which of the following is a possible value of the first sum of the middle three digits of the the so possible value to share, that means that there's no uh, there's no resolution to this solution. Right? There's no resolution to the solution. Yaha possible value 8 are yaha possible value 14 are. So two possibilities may exist. Kar so option A is the answer. We'll have to mark option A and move on. 
right? You don't need to find the number of universes, right? So, ये uh, amazing. But this uh, kind of shows how, or ये last two years से भी दिख रहा है कि they have actually upped the tempo in terms of the CSAT and and after your exam में uh, if I want I can make uh, scoring uh, as a question set. If I want I can make scoring thirty three percent. Very difficult unless your aptitude is good, and this seems like that for a lot of them. But but see, sir, one one difference that I'll say. Well, this question, as I said, you put this question into a CAT paper or CAT paper type question, and you add all. Nobody knows which one is the question. Right. So this question is that level. But the other, the next one, a reasoning question, is easier one. You should you should do this. Two friends X Y start running, and they run together for 50 meters in the same direction, and reach a point. So let's say they are moving in this direction. X and Y. They have done 50. X turns right and runs 60 meters. So X is turned right and run 60 meters. Y turns left and runs 40 meters. So Y turns left and runs 40 meters. Then X turns left and runs 50 meters. Next turn left and runs 50 meters and then stops. So he's here. How far are the two friends from each other now? So this is 50. How far are the two friends from each other now? ये तो पाते हैं बस वो बन रहा है। तो दिस डिस्टेंस हंड्रेड एंड दिस फिफ्टी बाइस हेयर बाइ टाइम लेफ्ट एंड रन्स फोर्टी मीटर्स। सो ये जो ट्रायंगल है हंड्रेड हाइट एंड फिफ्टी विथ ऑफर द टू फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम चेंडर विल बी ऑन दिस डायग्नल। And this diagonal will be a square root. It's not going to be a perfect square. One, two, and something. That to Pythagoras triple that they mean. This will be the second direction. You will see Pythagoras again. Why am I think? I don't think if I, if I change my original direction, it's not going to make a difference. If I take 50 here, if they're running uh, together, and then X turns right and runs 60, X turns right and runs 60, Y turns left and runs 40, and stops. Uh, X turns left and runs 50. अच्छा मैंने कि ये ये मिस कर लिया हूँ. Okay, sorry, sorry. X turns left and runs 50. उसके बाद and stops. While Y turns right and runs 50. ये ये basic problem aptitude का. Since I'm going live and I'm trying to solve without reading properly, I'm making this mistake. ये 50 है, of course. This is an easy question. Obviously ये दोनों points पे उनका difference है. और ये point 100 है. ठीक है मतलब एक बेसिक फिलोसफी है किसी भी आपकी उठ क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करने का कि और क्वालिटी ऑफ रीडिंग शुड बी स्ट्रॉंग देखो मैं मेरा ही रीडिंग का क्वालिटी देखो तो मैं आई ड्रॉप माय क्वालिटी रीडिंग नो मैटर हुई और व्हाट योर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग स्किल्स आर यू विल ऑलवेज मेक एरर्स सो दैट्स समथिंग Two easy questions here. What date of June 2009 among the following is Sunday, right? So, ये question को तो देखोगे. Sunday कौन से? 2009 में ले गया सीधा, right? और हम लोग 2022 में. We're in 2022. And today being 5th June, so ये this is typical of UPSC. कि दे नो दैट दैट यू नो दैट टुडे इज़ डेट इज़ फ़ूज़ जून एंड दिस इज़ संडे 
So we have to transfer today's Sunday. Now what happens in calendars is uh, one year later, one year later, 5th June would be a Monday. Because you have 364 days elapsed plus one day. So you, you actually add a 365 day. And every time you cross a leap year uh, during this, so 5th June to 5th June next year, 2023, May, you're going to have plus one on Sunday. Right? 5th June to 5th June 2023, you're going to have plus one on Sunday. So that means it's going to be Monday. Or uh, year or Monday, if this is a Monday, so every year, 2015 to 2024, so February 24 is So every time the February of the leap year comes, you will get a plus two. So, this logic what you have to do basically do is from, I mean, the thinking here is this is. If you know clocks in calendar specifically, essentially the thinking is that 2022 is 2099 is an elapsing of 77 years. So 77 years, right? So 77 plus ones okay. And the the leap years that will happen is between 2024, 2028, up to 2096. So that means if you are IAS officer, then you will be retired and you will be able to get IAS officers. So how many leap years will you have to do? So 24 to 96 is what? 19 leap years? Yeah, there are 19 leap years. I'm solving it live and blind for you. So that means the total number of days that you are elapsing, you are going forward by, is 96. I'm sorry, I'm not explaining the logic and the theory. I'm just solving the questions for you. Right? So 96, that means 91, uh, this is called the concept of odd days. 91 odd days in the first under. So plus 5 over here. So this means uh, the 5th June 2099 is going to be a Friday. Of question which day of uh, 2099, which of these days of 2099 will be a Sunday. So you have to go two days more. So I think the answer should be 7 June. Please do pardon me if I make any mistakes in my calculations because I'm talking and solving. Or this paper a uh, quality guy. This is DI answer. Okay? अगले क्वेश्चन को देखते हैं। अगले क्वेश्चन को देखते हैं। अगर मेरा कोई कैलकुलेशन एरर होगा तो प्लीज दिस थिंग आई एम ट्राइंग टू मेक मेक श्योर दैट आई डोंट गिव मेक एनी एरर्स इन दिस। नॉर्मली जब भी सेशन मैंने प्लान किया था, मैं थॉर्ड वास की इसमें तो कोई दिक्कत नहीं होने वाली, बिकॉज़ लोग के पास भी दम है क्वेश्चन बनाने का मैथ्स के क्वेश्चन बाकी तो उनको बहुत दम है एस यू आर लो सही है लेट्स कीप गोइंग आईड अ बिल फॉर रुपीस जेलिंग फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन है इट इस पेड इन ड्रामशन फिफ्टी ट्वेंटी टेन अ टोटल ऑफ फिफ्टी नोट्स इज यूज्ड कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स ट्वेंटी फ and the remaining are in the denomination of 20 and 10. First statement is saying this. 25 and 50, 50 plus 20 into something plus 10 into something. Some, some number of notes. Statement 1. Statement 2. 35 notes. Okay, one thing is that 1840 rupees are paid with 50 notes. 
तो तुम्हारा एवरेज वैल्यू जो आ रहा है वो थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट एट आ रहा है ठीक है दैट इज एवरेज वैल्यू पर नोट तो इफ यू कैन सेकंड स्टेटमेंट दिस सेज थर्टी फाइव नोट ऑफ ट्वेंटी रुपीज आर यूज इसको भी मेरे को फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी फाइव लिखना चाहिए उल्टा लिखना चाहिए बिकॉज आई एम राइटिंग द नोट डिनोमिनेशन फर्स्ट एंड नंबर ऑफ नोट लेटर इन दीज टू यहाँ पे भी मेरे को कंसिस्टेंटली रखनी चाहिए अदरवाइज एग्जाम के अंदर प्रेशर में सॉल्व करने में यू मेक मिस्टेक्स सर यू डू मेक मिस्टेक्स सर सो ट्वेंटी इंटू थर्टी फाइव है और रिमेनिंग आई डिनोमिनेशन ऑफ फिफ्टी एंड द रिमेनिंग आई डिनोमिनेशन ऑफ The remaining are denominations of fifty uh, and ten. So fifty ke denominations are remaining here, or ten ke denominations are remaining here. Now, what I can see very clearly is that ऐसा साथ में तो नहीं हो सकता है one and two together because अगर one हो रहा है तो बारह सौ पचास रुपए तो यही बन जाएंगे तुम्हारे और यहाँ पे सात सौ रुपए बन रहे हैं तो उन्नीस सौ पचास तो सीधे हो गए तो कम तो नहीं कर सकते हैं So, so this one and two together can't be true. And the third statement says twenty rupees of, uh, sorry, twenty uh, notes uh, of ten are used. That means ten k twenty notes are used. And the remaining are denominations of fifty. And twenty. Now, एक लॉजिक देखते हैं विच ऑफ दफ स्टेटमेंट आर नॉट करेक्ट तो अगर वन करेक्ट है अगर वन करेक्ट है तो साढ़े बारह सौ रुपये यहाँ पे हो जाते हैं ठीक है अगर वन करेक्ट है तो मेरे को ट्वेंटी और टेन से मेरे को ट्वेंटी और टेन मिला के फाइव नाइन्टी रुपीज बनाने पड़ेगा फिफ्टी यूनिट फिफ्टी फिफ्टी नोट चाहिए मेरे को दिस इज द कंस्टेंट तो यहाँ पे मैं पच्चीस नोट यूज अगर कर रहा हूँ तो पच्चीस नोट यूज करके मेरे को फाइव नाइनटी बनाना है और पच्चीस नोट में फाइव नाइनटी बनेगा ही नहीं रीजन बिकॉज मेरा बेस्ट मैक्सिम पॉसिबल वैल्यू पर ऑफ ए नोट इज ट्वेंटी रुपीज तो पच्चीस नोट का सब सब बीस रुपये वाले भी यूज करूँ तो पाँच सौ रुपये नहीं पाँच सौ पाँच सौ रुपये मैक्सिमम बना सकता नॉट करेक्ट में वन तो आना पड़ेगा सो इट्स ऑप्शन ए बी ए सी और डी टू को अगर मैं देखू टू में मेरा सात सौ रुपए बन गया ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी फाइव और ये ये थॉट स्ट्रक्चर हर एग्जाम में आफ्टर एग्जाम में दिस थॉट स्ट्रक्चर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तो सात सौ रुपये बन गया मतलब बाकी नोट में मेरे को ग्यारह सौ चालीस बनाने फिफ्टी रुपी नोट एंड टेन रुपी नोट और नोट्स कितने हैं मेरे पास पंद्रह बिकॉज बीस के पैंतीस नोट यूज किया मैंने तो पंद्रह नोट्स में अगर मेरे को ग्यारह सौ चालीस रुपये बनाने हैं इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल बिकॉज अगर मेरा बेस्ट हाइस्ट वैल्यू नोट फिफ्टी रुपी है तो पंद्रह नोट्स में मैक्सिमम सात सौ पचास रुपये बना पाऊँ सो दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉट करेक्ट इफ आई गो टू दर्ड थर्ड सो वन एंड टू दोनों करेक्ट नहीं सो इट्स आई दर ऑप्शन ए और डी सो थर्ड करेक्ट है क्या इफ आई यूज टेन नोट्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी नोट्स ऑफ टेन रुपीज इच यहाँ पे दो सौ रुपये बन जाएगा बचा तुम्हारा कितना नौ सौ सोलह सौ चालीस बिकॉज अठारह सौ चालीस रुपये तुमको बनाने हैं पूरे मिला के और तुम्हारे पास फिफ्टी रुपी नोट्स हैं और ट्वेंटी रुपीज नोट्स हैं और तुम्हारे पास नोट बच गए बीस नोट तुमने यूज कर लिए टोटल नोट पचास हैं तो टोटल नंबर ऑफ नोट्स इज फिफ्टी सो यू ओनली थर्टी नोट्स मोर तो थर्टी नोट्स मोर फिफ्टी रुपीज ईच मैक्सिमम फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड बना पाओगे So this is the logic on which you reject all the three statements. Which of the above statements not correct? Answer is B. Question eight, answer D. The D uh, is not correct. All all three are not correct. Chal, agle question pe chalte hain. Quick, good, good quality question again. Uh, logic pakarna zaruri tha. Ye logic kafi use hota hai captured exam mein. Which of amongst the question nine? Which among the following? Which number amongst two raised to forty? Two raised to forty, three raised to twenty-one, four raised to eighteen, which means two raised to thirty-six, and eight raised to twelve, which is again two raised to thirty-six. 
is the smallest is the smallest so it has to be i think it has to be three to i mean ye to smallest nahi hoga because it's larger than these two in dono ka ye to na answer ho nahi sakta hai because ye to no hoga to do answer mein question hai so 4 raised to 18 and 8 raised to 12 they are they are the same 4 raised to 18 and 8 raised to 12 are the same value wise because this is 2 raised to 36 and this is also 2 raised to 36 so ye logic ke sath mein aage so this is a quick question uh, 3 raised to 21 is answer right theek hai agla question dekhte hain The digits uh, one to nine, question ten. The digits one to nine are arranged in three rows in such a way that each row contains three digits. ये reaction है. जितना पढ़ते हो उतने को react करना है. Reactive reaction point तुम्हारा वो होना चाहिए कि ये पढ़ लिया ऐसे कुछ reaction आ रहा है तो करके reaction आगे बढ़ना चाहिए ये भी दे. Right? Thanks. Thanks sir. So much. So digits one to nine are arranged in three rows in such a way that each row contains three digits, and the number formed in the second row is twice the number formed in the first row. So this number is twice this number. So that means you need a multiplier of two between this to this. Double. This is not sum of digits. Please remember this. And, and again, this question I can put it into a CAD exam, and you will not even understand. Ki hai, you can see a question there. एकदम परफेक्ट कैट में फिट हो रहा है जस्ट लाइक द क्वेश्चन एट एंड इवन क्वेश्चन नाइन इन दैट सेंस आई कैन शो यू क्वेश्चन इन कैट विच आर इजियर इन दिस सो दो यू थिंकिंग इज अ केक वॉक सी सैट प्लीज प्लीज कीप योर 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 प्रिपरेशन ऑफ देट बिकॉज एज यू नो यू डोंट क्वालिफाई दिस एग्जाम इन योर डेट इन होल दिस थिंग पूरे साल का तुम्हारे जीएस का मेहनत खत्म हो जाएगा So, यहां से यहां डबल है और आगे क्या बोल रहे हैं एंड द नंबर फॉर्म इन दर्ड रो इज थ्राइज नंबर फॉर्म इन दर्स्ट रो उसका डबल नंबर यहां बन रहे हैं और उसका ट्रिपल नंबर यहां बन रहे ठीक है इतना तो समझ में आ गया आगे क्या बोल रहे हैं एंड जस्ट रिमाइंडिंग यू गाइज वी हैव सब्सक्रिप्शन मॉडल फॉर द यू पी एस सी वी आर वी आर ऑल गियर अप आई बी टेकिंग लाइव क्लासेज ऑल्सो एंड एंड कम्प्लीट वीडियो सोल्यूशन टू पास पेपर एज वेल एज माई माई ओन वीडियोज फॉर फॉर प्रिपेयर फॉर इच ऑफ दीज चैप्टर्स दैट यू दैट यू कम अक्रॉस इन मैथ्स राइट रिपोर्टेशन इज नॉट अलाउड If only three of the four digits, two, three, seven, nine are allowed in the to use in the first row. So the first row, man, you're only using three of the four digits, two, three, seven, nine. So how many such combinations are possible to be arranged in three rows? Wow, amazing question. So the first thing I realize is that this double and triple का logic तभी बनेगा जब यहाँ पे जो number है. I cannot start with seven and cannot start with nine because nine hundred could start. Karo ge, apne double eighteen hundred ho jaye. Three digit number eighteen hundred ho jaye nahi sakte. So I have got a number starting with two, possibly two something, and I have got a number starting with three here in the first digit. Two possibility one time. A number starting with two here or a number starting with three. Now two ke saath. Uh, these these two digits. I've got the numbers three, seven, nine. So I need to check ki kon kitne kitne possibilities ban rahe hain. So does two thirty seven allow me to make this as four seventy four? It does not because repetition of digits is not allowed. So two thirty seven is not allowed. So yahan pe jaise three seven nine se yahan pe three seven three nine and seven nine. Three numbers ban sakte. So two three seven is not allowed because double the number is is giving me a, a repetition of digits. The digit seven gets repeated. If I use the two three nine here, it becomes a four seventy eight. That's okay. Double and triple becomes seven one seven. Two thirty nine into three seven seventeen. Again, there's a repetition of digits. 
not possible. So 239 is rejected here. What about 279 here? What about 279 here? If I use 279 here, this becomes 558. Again, a repetition of digits is allowed. Repetition of digits is not allowed. Likha hai hai. So 279 can double 558 only. So using 2 here does not work. If I use 3 here, I'll have to use here 2 here because the moment if I go with 370 or 390, triple that number. Tripling that number is going to get, take me across across 1000. So 320, I mean, this point, if you mark the exam, you Because I don't need to check this. One value will come because zero is not possible. So I, I will allow the question center to, 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 to make sure that this uh, this logic is correct. But you check it. So this is done. 327, double 654, triple 981. Or 329 to try it, 329 obviously you can't do it because you have to triple my 900 to start over. So 9 can digit repeating here. So option D is the right answer for this. Right? And really my respect for the for the, uh, the match question center of the UPSC has really gone up. Because I've seen some some really simple questions uh, in the past in, in UPSC where they were uh, kind of molly calling the, the aspirant. The uh, politically correct or easy questions they have. Comprehension to ask me now because this is live solving of you for a so it will become very boring for you. And yeah, really good questions. Yeah, yeah. This is exam cat Matlab, you can you can actually pick up pick up questions from there. But if I make a calm karun ki question with halo, cat question with halo, don't go box with halo, or randomly has a paper with hake, this question with hake, cat ka paper than halo, to put some in the air, one's a question guy. The quant part I'm talking about. Wo, uh, direction wala question ki edar dhoda, edar dhoda, wo cat me nahi aata hai, but, but maths ki baat karna hai. So let's look at this. X and Y run a 3 km race along a circular, circular course of 300 meters. X and Y run a 3 km race around a circular course of 300 meters. So that means this reaction hai ki they are running 10 rounds. Their speeds are in the ratio 3 is to 2. Now, the time speed distance only. Okay, x or y ka speed ratio 3 is to 2. Hai. If they start together in, this, in the same direction, how many times would the first one pass the other? The start of is not counted as passing. So, essentially, so kaise karo ga? Passing tab ho ga, ye 3 is to 2 speed hai. Iska matlab hai ki jab ye 2 round karega, the y, Two round karega. Simple logic says which is not the math man lago. So by two round karega to x three round karega. Or your first passing. Why jab char round karega? So x will do six rounds. Right? So ye second round. Second second crossing. Why jab six round karega? X will do nine rounds. Or your third crossing one. Why jump 8 round karega to x ka bara round hojayega. So y is doing 8 rounds, x will do 12 rounds. Now 12 rounds are easy, 10 rounds are easy. So you 3 crossings on the wala, option question 15 ka answer b hai. Right? Next question hojay, question 16. Next question then. X and Y run, uh, sorry, in the order of the letter here, the office is using grammar. If the order of the letter in the English alphabet is reserved, reversed, and each letter represents the letter whose position it occupies, then which one of the following represents Lucknow? So, uh, first of all, the direct order is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. N, N O P Q R S T or M previously break here because M is the 13th letter. U V W X Y Z. So what's going to happen is when I look at L here, this question will be L dekho. L is the 12th letter. So ulta jab karunga main, 
this alphabet will get written as Z, Y, X, W, and so on. But this way, you don't need to write it like this. You don't need to write it like this because for A, you can replace it. You can just go from here and go to the twelfth letter. And since I've written thirteen letters here. And 13 letters here, you can check this N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Since I've written 30 letters in both, if I'm going from Z, I'll I'll come to zero as my starting letter. So O says start over you help me cover. Second letter G A K F first with two options. So I want to check what happens to you. So you go over my to ye 21st alphabet. And say pass pella. Right? So, ulta agar karunga main. So, so going this way, A se ja raha hoon agar main. So, A se hain 13 ho gaya aur phiri haan se 21 ho gaya. So, ulta agar main ja raha hoon. So, when I go back, Z se N is like A to M. So, 13 ho gaya. Aur 8 more. Ye F ka hai. So, this letter is going to be F. So, if I look back at the options, it's option C or D. Right, and then uh, you come across uh, you you come across the next letter. O F K bar X to pakka hai sab mein C O D mein dekhna hai aapko. So O F X P M sab mein dono mein common hai, L bhi common hai. So, e or D se last letter dekhna hai. Because baaki tino digits, uh, baaki charo alphabets mein same hai. So ye letter mein E option C mein ye E hai aur ye option B mein ye D hai. We just looking at this letter. So Lucknow ka W jab dekhte ho, which of the following letters is W. W is the fourth letter from the last. Z, Y, X, W. So ye fourth letter from the first will be D. So yaha pe D aega. And hence the correct option is option D. So ye jisne bhi solve kiya, usne sahi solve kiya 16 question ko. D mark karke. That's the correct answer. So next question dekho, 17 dekho. I have not done an analysis of how many questions were there and how much uh, in which uh, this thing, this thing, but it seems article around 40, 45, 50 questions, reasoning or who are and uh, uh, it's similar to that. Yeah, I do my word, my answer key, repeat, Dalunga, maybe by tomorrow I need some time, or I'll get my team to at least uh, come up with the answers of these questions, or Baki for. Verbal ka bhi, uh, RC ka answers mein dekhta hoon, jitne clear answers mein ko dekhna hoon mein raal hoonga. I will not take a call on ambiguous answers. By tomorrow maybe. So next question. The tournament of chess having 150 entrants, the player is eliminated whenever he loses a match. It's given that no match results in a tight draw. How many matches are played in the entire tournament? Yeh seedha n-1 aata is ka logic. So 149 is ka answer hoonga. 150 matches mein, if there's a, a knockout tournament, the number of matches is n-1. So that's the answer to 17th. 18 dekhte hai. Yes, so 17th the answer C hai. 18 dekhte hai. How many threes are natural numbers without repetition of digits are there? So that each digit is odd and the number is 0 to 5. So again, uh, combination, combination, counting. Odd, uh, each digit is odd. Two conditions. Three conditions. Three digit natural numbers. No repetition of digits. No repetition of digits and each digit odd. Each digit odd and number is 0 5. So, subsequently, 5 is odd. All odd digits, each digit odd and no repetition of digits. That means 5 can't be used here. So, that means these two places are to be filled with 1, 3, 7, and 9. So 1379 ke saath, you can have 4C2 into two factors. Select uh, two digits and arrange them. So 6 into 2, 12 is the answer. B is the answer. Question 18. Question 19. 
Uh, let's have a look at question 19. Consider the question and two statements given below. Is excellent teacher. The question is, is excellent teacher. X by 3 is not integer. Statement 1. X by 3 is not integer. So if X by 3 is not integer, that means X is not a 3M number. So this means that X is either 3M plus 1 or 3M plus 2 number. And then they'll say, uh, so it's, it's like, it's numbers like 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, you have to avoid the, the, the multiples of 3. 7, 8, 10, 11, 13, 14. This kind of numbers here. Yeah. Multiple of 3 avoid, avoid karna hai tumko. And 3x is an integer. A question of mine is x an integer. So 3x is being an integer. Achha, x is an integer hai ki nahi ko. It's not that 3n plus 1 and 3n plus 2 are x. X by 3 is not an integer. It can be, uh, it can be, it can be an integer, not divisible by three. It can also be three point one equally likely. Kya dekha tha? Or three x integer agar hai, it can x can be a number like one point three three three. Of course, it can be a number like two also. Taki three x is an integer, so isse bhi tum uh, you can't make this up from two also. So basically, both statement one and two are not sufficient. This answer D over, especially. Question 19. 20 is an easy one. 20 is an easy question because 20 is what it is what it's saying in 20 is the price of an item is was was increased by 25%, then the price was decreased by 20%. So kisi bhi item ka price agar 25% percent uske baad 20% So 25 20 20 ka jo pair hai, wo 100 से वापस 100 पे ले आता है तुम्हारा, so price is back at 100, and then it is again increased by 10 percent. So this effectively the first two changes have not made any any change to the price. It's still the the starting price only. So 10 percent last week बड़ा uh, again increased by 10. What is the result of increase in the price? The answer will be 10 percent. So option B is the right answer. That's the answer to 20. So we are skipping a few questions because you have to come here. Will again? Twenty-four. The letters A, B, C, D again. Yeah, combination, 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 combination has been a favorite of UPSC right from early two thousands. So they are going back to it now. So the letters A, B, C, D are arranged in such a way that they are exactly two letters between A and E. How many possible? How many such possible arrangements are there? So if I put A and E, you just have to be systematic here. If I put A and E in first two positions, first and third positions, I can do it in two ways. No, sorry. I can't put them in first and third. Exactly two letters between A and E. You have to read properly. Exactly two letters between the A and E. That means A and E are the first and fourth positions, which can be in two ways, A E or E A. And with each of this, BCD has to be placed in three places. So there are three factorial ways of doing that. So A6 is, AB6 is. Or A and E can be on the second and fifth letters also. They can be on the second and fifth letters also. So here B6 is, here B6 is. The correct answer is 24 of this. Option C is the right answer. So question 24 ka C is 24 he answer it. Right, uh, let's go to the next question now. Twenty-five is Z brother of X. Option statement one. X is the brother of Y. 
and why is brother of Z? X is brother of Y. Now see, X is brother. So X is brother of Y. So the relationship of brother is Y to X. X is brother of Y, not Y is brother of X. That means X is a male, Y could be a male or female from him. And then they say, Y is the brother of Z. So Y is the brother of Z. So the relationship is Z to Y is again brother. So Y is again a male. But Z ke parameter we can't make out. So Z is definitely sibling of XYZ, of X and Y. Definitely sibling of X and Y. But is X Z brother of X? Not necessary. Can be brother, can be sister also, because we don't we can't make out the gender of X of Z. Right? So so this uh, aspect uh, uh, X or Y to well, we can't make out one alone say name and or other XYZ siblings. Is it a good million and XYZ sibling and I can still be the sister? So, data sufficiency the key is that you should get a unique answer. Yahape, yes, be a answer, no, be a no, be will the other name. It's not, not brother of X, you could say data sufficient. But yahape, data sufficient name also. So, so yeah, yes. Uh, yes or no, do no mischief. But the answer can be still yes or no to this question. Which means you're not getting any answer. So question, the answer to this question is B. Once the once answer is right. A lot of people would have made a mistake in this question. Again, uh, as I'm solving these questions, the feel is very, very much like a difficult aptitude exam, not an easy exam. Not an easy aptitude exam. So so I'm quite sure it's going to be difficult to solve for a lot of people. 26th, on one side of a 1.01 kilometer long road, 101 plants are planted at equal distance from each other. So 1.01 kilometer road means 1,010 meters road. If you're planting 101 plants, so every plant will have a 10 meter distance from the previous plant. So what is the total distance between five conservative plants? So five conservative plants can be the total distance 40 over. What look makes me A mark here, C mark here, but A correct answer is correct. At least that's what, uh, please, please do, uh, uh, pardon me, I don't know question is wrong, but because uh, I'm going logically. And I've not uh, referred to anything else. I'm just solving it blind and reading these questions for the first time and solving it live for you guys. Thanks, uh, God of Match. I think you've been back there, Olive. But so, I don't, I don't consider to be myself to be God, just a guy with uh, good logical thinking abilities. And for those of you looking for UPSC uh, uh, CSAT for 2023, we are there for you uh, at Mindworks. So AB3 are three places says that there are three different roads from A to B. Three roads from A to B. Four different roads from B to C. And three different roads from A to C. In how many different ways can one travel from A to C? If I want to go from A to C, if I take the direct route, I've got three routes. If I take the road to, to B, I've got 12 roads. So the total number of roads is 15 here. So option C, right answer is Question 27. Uh, next question, question 28. Here are some points. He gives half of the points and two more to B. So let's say A has two n coins. So what does it do? He gives n plus two to B. B gives half of the coins and two more to C. So B now has n plus two coins. So B gives half the coins, n by two plus two to C. 
and C gives half the points, n by 4, n by 4 plus 2, 2 d. The number of points D has now is the smallest two digit number. So the smallest two digit number is 10. So n must be, if you solve n by 4 plus 2 as 10, you get a value of uh, n by 4 is 8, and that means n is 32. So n is 32, and that means how many points does A have in the beginning? It's 64. And just run it through, 64 will become 34. 34 will become uh, 19 n by 4 is equal to 8 so n is equal to 32 34 and yeah 34 I have made mistake in this I made a mistake in this solving let's restart this I mean, all aptitude exam aspirants, I keep telling, they go, I mean, I'm doing this live, right? So, the man with doubts, what is exam? So, I will say that we start with the options. On the hand side, I'll pick up the options there. So, suppose I take 68. The uh, option B said, the A has 68 points. So, he gives half the points plus two more. So, he's going to give 36 points to B. Half of 68 plus 2 more is 36. B gives half of 36 plus 2 more. So B will give 20 to C. And C will give half of 20 plus 2 more. C will give 12 to D. The key is that D pay 10 RNG. 68 pay D 12 RNG. That means the answer is below 68. Not above 68. So for the time being, I can remove 76. The 60 I will have 16 by half plus 2 is 32. 32 by half plus 2 is 18. And 18 by half plus 2 is 9. Sorry, half plus two is eleven. This is also not working. So the answer, the only option we have is fifty-two. Then half plus two is twenty-eight. Half plus two is sixteen. And half plus two is ten. Yeah, fifty-two by other answer. I don't know why I got this nine. Mental error. Right again, good quality question. You will see this in all aptitude exams. So people preparing for CSAT two thousand twenty-three. Don't make the mistake of thinking about CSAT as an easy exam. Next, in the series A, B, A, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E, which letter appears in the 100 place? We have triangular numbers of question. So what's happening here is A, just think about this as this. Think about this as these boxes. You have A, then you've got A B, then you've got A B C. So A B C is ending at six letters. One plus two plus three. Then you've got A B C D, A B C D. So that's ending on the tenth tenth uh, term of the series. Then I got A, B, C, D, 15th. So if I keep going, uh, this is the sum of, this This 15 is the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. So since, since the sum of 1 to 10, this is again from my cat experience, this is a favorite of the cat fresh. Uh, triangular number is a favorite of, of the cat. Right, thanks, thanks, Lokesh. I, I missed that number. 9 plus 2 karna bhuli gata ma. Isle usme fas gata ma. Anyway, so coming back here. Uh, this is 15. Uh, so, so basically, 1 to 10 ka sum 55 hota hai. And plus 11, 66. Plus 12, 78. 
प्लस थर्टीन नाइनटी वन तो थर्टीन लेटर्स दैट मीन ए टू एम वाला जो सीरीज होगा उसमें नाइनटी वन आएगा और ए बी सी डी एफ जी एच आई आई उसका आंसर आंसर होगा इस क्वेश्चन का फ्रॉम नाइनटी टू टू हंड्रेड सो आई विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर एंड दैट्स ऑप्शन सी राइट सो लुक लुक सो गेट ट्वेंटी नाइन क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी नाइन इन थो सॉरी थर्टी Three persons A, B, C standing in a queue, not in the same order. There are four persons between A and B, and seven persons between B and C. If there are eleven persons ahead of C and thirteen behind A, what will be the minimum number of persons in the queue? <clears throat> okay. The eleven persons ahead of C. Okay. So let's first focus on putting C and A. Eleven persons ahead of C, and thirteen behind A. And I want a minimum number of uh, people in the queue. So can I do this? So thinking is can I do this with only twenty-two people? Let's think like that. So my queue has only twenty-two people. Then I've got C on the twelfth place, and there are ten more people below to get to twenty-two. But they're saying there are thirty people behind A. So in that case, ten people, eleven person, and two more people. So A will be in this position. So A is ninth. A is ninth. C is thirteen. C is twelfth. And uh, there are four persons between A and B, and seven persons between B and C. So four persons between A and B. If I uh, A and B go seventh, then four four persons. One, two, three, four. So ten, nine, eight, seven. So B becomes sixth. So I've got four. And three, seven people between B and C in this case. So all the conditions are uh, are met here. All the conditions are met. What will the minimum number of persons in the queue? All the conditions are met. Uh, are met here. Is twenty two. Entertainment tells me that when twenty sixth का आंसर Forty forty point four. Okay, yeah, I think I made a mistake. End this thing on twenty sixth. Then these are twenty sixth for you guys. Thanks for pointing that out. Let me just resolve. I am not sure. Okay, answer me. Go lana pade. Twenty sixth. One point zero one kilometer road. Agar hai. 1010 मीटर्स का रोड अगर है और तुम 101 प्लांट्स प्लेस कर रहे हो तो पहला प्लांट यहां पे आएगा दूसरा पॉइंट प्लांट कहां पे आएगा यू हैव टू प्लेस 100 प्लांट्स बिटवीन हेयर टू हेयर सो द स्पैन इन दिस क्वेश्चन या थैंक्स पॉइंट फॉर पॉइंटिंग अराउंड व्हाट आर द नेम ऑफ द एंटरटेनमेंट The span you have got is your first plant is coming at the start, right? And you've got one thousand ten meters to plant hundred more plants. So, your plants' length will be, na, the two plants in between length will be one thousand ten divided by hundred. The the distance between two plants is going to be hundred ten point one. One thousand ten by hundred. I'm doing 26 again for you. So 10.1 k, uh, 10.1 k range. Me, your a two plant will come. Every 10.1 k gap. Pe. So if you're placing plant one here, plant two will come after 10.1. Plant three will come after another 10.1. Plant four will come after another 10.1. 
and plant 5 will come after another 10 point. So the distance between four and five consecutive plants is actually 10.1 into 4. 40.4. So that's answer B. Or respect with challenge can be the and Mr. Entertainment. I mean, I, I said that multiple times. You can follow in this uh, blind for you guys and live on YouTube without any pre-practice. Uh, so I'm, I'm quite uh, open to making mistakes uh, here or there. Right? So good, good that you could see that. I made a mistake there. So coming back to question 35 now. How many seconds in total are there in X weeks, X, X days, X hours, X minutes and X seconds? Right? Uh, X days. X weeks, X hours, X days, so X weeks, X days, X hours, X minutes, and X seconds. So X minutes will have 60 X seconds. Right? X hours. Minutes, hours, days, and weeks. So every hour has 60 minutes. And every minute is 60 seconds. So this should be 3600 X. And then, uh, uh, now what we can see is that the answer has to be I mean, either B or D. It can't be A and C. Why? Because this X second will be plus X. How many seconds there are? Now a day has 24 hours. 60 minutes every hour into 60 seconds every this thing. Every minute, every every minute. 24 hours, 60 minutes per hour, and 60 seconds per minute. So this is the number of X that you will get. And a week has 7 into 24, 7 days, 24 hours. 60 minutes per hour and 60 seconds every time. So you just have to think of is it going to 1,500 or is it going to go to 6,94,000. So you can see very clearly that the and 24 to 60 is uh, 1,400 more and 1,440 actually. And 1,440 into 60 is 85,000 close to. So yeah, so you can reject that and go to D as the answer. And, and the fact that there's a plus X here will give you a one as the uh, in the part of the answer. So I think that should be D. Right? We'll have the official answer keys out uh, by tomorrow. I mean, at least not the official, sorry. Can't claim to be the but our, our version of the answer key out by tomorrow. You can check from there. By the way, yeah, hindsight will be solved in the day tomorrow. Right. I said, uh, as I said, uh, maybe a couple of questions here or there might go wrong. But again, really, really, uh, uh, I mean, as an attribute trader, I'm, I mean, I'm satiated with the kind of questions they have given. Right. They're not giving any easy, uh, uh, not giving any easy, uh, uh, simple movements. And RC to me, so I can't comment. In RC to Janto, Ziza Karsi is not very controllable. So this is going to be a lot of sh a shock to a lot of people. PQ, RST, you are six members of family. R is spouse of Q. So RQ is a couple. U is the mother of T and S is the daughter of U. U is the mother of T. U is a female mother of T. And S is the daughter of U. So S and T are siblings. S is the daughter of you. So I have got a mother son daughter relationship. T ke baare we don't know. And P's daughter is T. So T is a female now. So U and P are also married because U is also this, uh, the mother. So P's, P's daughter is T. And our son is P. So ye bahu and you. There are two couples in the family. Okay, RQ, you will be able to identify them. Which one of the following is correct? Q is the grandfather 
of T Q is the grandmother of T now. Q ka gender to pata nahi chala. Q ke baare mein only statement given is R is the spouse of Q. So we can't make out about whether Q is the grandfather or grandmother. But T is the granddaughter of Q. Yes, that we know because T is a female because she is the daughter of uh, T. So so option B is the right answer. Here. Chalo, next question. Let's see. Next question, let's see. Thirty seventh. Consider the question and two statements given below in respect of three cities P Q R in the state. How far is city P from city Q? City Q is eighty kilometers from R. Consider the question with and two statements. There's three cities P Q R. How far is P and Q? So we have been asked to find the this the distance between P and Q. So, if we are looking at this question, so the first statement we are saying is Q is 18 kilometers from R. So, R is 18 kilometers Q. The information is coming. Okay, and P is 43 from R. P is from R, and they are asking the distance P to Q. And the information given to you here is uh, PQ has no relationship with the PQ. It's straight line, in which order, etc. So R is 43 kilometers. P is 43 kilometers from R. Can mean it could be any circle. This is this is 18. This R can be P can be going. It can be going. It can be going. There are many possibilities for P. So you can't make that out. I think so. B is the correct answer in this question. And uh, that's uh, 37th. So let's have a look at 38th. Two statements uh, for the four conclusions given. You have to take the statement. Okay, oh, yeah. all that is blah blah blah. Syllogisms here. All pens are books. All pens are books. And no chair is a pen. तो चेयर के लिए मेरे पास बहुत सारे पॉसिबिलिटीज हैं। चेयर वन, चेयर टू, चेयर थ्री। तो इस पर टू इस रिलेशनशिप विद बुक्स। आईट कंक्लुजन मत। ऑल चेयर्स आर बुक्स। नॉट नेसेसरी बिकॉज़ चेयर थ्री में वो रिजेक्ट हो जा रहे हैं। सेकंड कंक्लुजन सम चेयर्स आर पेंस। नो, दैट्स दैट्स नॉट � so no chair is a book. That's also not possible, not necessary because C1 may uh, not So conclusion 1, 2, 3 or 4. Chara is a good follow the other option B is correct answer. 29 dekhi lete. I might not be able to finish this paper. So I'll be doing a second session also of this uh, live uh, maybe tomorrow sometime. Or I will do the remaining questions for you. You will be new with that. Or uh, apart from that, I will also, uh, uh, also, I mean, we will, we'll, after once the second session is done, so we will we'll ask our video editors to, to merge the two sessions and give you one session of this, where in which everything is taught. Some doctors are PGA, if we have basic information, the way the come, all teachers are engineers, statement two time. All teachers are engineers. Because this is a more definitive relationship. Just because there are some doctors that teach us BI, so we must start the career. And all engineers are scientists. So all engineers are scientists. You third diagram will come. And then the question says some doctors are teachers. So some doctors are teachers means my doctors ka circle. If I draw that in red, my doctors ka circle can be like this. My doctors ka circle can be like this. My doctors the circle can be like this relationship between doctors and and engineers and and uh, scientists are are is changing my doctor circle can also be this in this case so the way you do it is you you try to reject the conclusion right so conclusion one so so if this is figure one this is figure two this is figure three this is figure four if i want to reject the first conclusion some scientists are doctors some scientists are doctors. If you reject it, you have to show that no scientists are doctors. Whichever I draw it, whichever I draw doctors, the fourth circle, I am getting 
uh, I'm getting the same thing in all the cases. Whichever way you, you draw it, you, I'm getting the same thing in all the cases. That is, uh, I can't I can't reject some scientists or doctors because scientists or doctors are Mishaya. So conclusion one to definitely true. Conclusion two page agar aana to all engineers are doctors. Not necessary because one two may all engineers are not doctors. So conclusion two is not not uh, necessary. And if I look at conclusion three, all engineers are doctors. Ye bhi necessary nahi because if I draw this for doctors. All engineers and doctors are not true. Only conclusion one is the answer. This answer, I would go with A there. Right? But if you are following us, do do wait for the official answer. I mean, not again, why am I calling it official? Our, our version of the of the answer key for by tomorrow for this. Uh, we will we'll, we'll just make sure that our answers are correct while solving. Yeah, this is just a live solve from my side. Okay, eight words A, B, C, D, F, E, G, H, sit around a circular table. Equidistant from each other, facing the center of the table, not necessarily in that order. So this is how they said equidistant, always, right? Uh, B and D sit neither adjacent to to C nor opposite C. B and D not adjacent C, not opposite C. A sits in between E and D. A sits in between E and D. So it could be A D or D A. A sits between uh, E and D, and F sits between B and H. So I've got either this or this. Which of the following is definitely correct? So suppose my team uh, circle of best 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 thing is that start with the mark with option of that. If you go just go place karna to place karna. So E A D ke lagar A place karna to A yahan pe aega. If I use these three places, and E and D can can either be here or there. E D D. Or B F H mein ro karna or or B and D are not adjacent to C nor opposite C. तो यहाँ पे अगर मैं करता हूँ तो इफ आई यूज दिस प्लेस फॉर बी एफ एच इफ आई यूज दिस प्लेस फॉर बी एफ एच लेट्स आई यूज दिस प्लेस फॉर बी एफ एच आई नीड अ बेटर पिक्चर इन दिस केस Let me draw the circle properly here, so that my opposites and adjacents are clear. My eight places are one, two. This is one pair of opposites. This is the second pair of opposites. See four. I have a third pair of opposites, five, six, and I have a fourth pair of opposites, seven, eight. Right. So suppose I use uh, EAD here, and the first three is is completely open to you. So if I go with A here, so this position can be ED or DA. So I'm going to BFH or HFB to one side. And in this, actually, if I study it properly, when I when I say A sits between E and D. Yeah, I mean, technically, it's going to be Does not necessarily mean that A is a dumb sandwich between A and D. It could mean E somebody, then A, and somebody, and then D. So, so I may say question. थोड़ा सा ambiguous है इसका इसका statement. But चलो ठीक है. In this case, because they have got uh, close-ended options, you will say that you will assume that they are doing it that way. तो मेरे को B F S लगाना है तो F definitely यहाँ पे आएगा. और मेरे को C को neither opposite D nor adjacent to D लगाना है. तो इन दिस केस एफ अगर यहां डालता हूं बी एफ एच ये करता हूं अगर तो सी कान कम है और मेरे पास कौन कौन है ए बी सी डी एफ जी एच 
तो बी एफ एच का तो मेरा रिलेशनशिप फिक्स है तो इन तीनों को मैं तीन पोजिशन में डालूंगा ही कहीं ना कहीं और ए डी को भी डालूंगा तो सी और जी दो लोग बच गए तो सी यहाँ नहीं आएगा तो जी यहाँ पे आएगा और सी को अगर यहाँ डालना है मेरे को तो दैट मीन्स मेरे को डी को यहाँ नहीं डाल पाऊंगा मैं ई e को यहाँ डालूंगा और डी को यहाँ डालूंगा पॉसिबल अरेंजमेंट Which of the following is definitely correct? B sits between A and G. यहाँ पे तो ये करेक्ट नहीं है. इस केस में B is not sitting between A and G. So ये तो घट जाएगा. C sits opposite G. इस केस में ये भी गलत है. और E sits opposite to F. E sits opposite to F. ये पक्का आ रहा है इसमें. So इसको कम. I think this is the correct. This should be the correct. Looks like the correct answer. But इसमें नया तो अब दिया हुआ है. इसको तुमको और arrangements करके देखना पड़ेगा. You know, check. कि वो वो हमेशा ई एफ ऑपोजिट आ रहे हैं कि नहीं विदाउट दैट यू यू रियली कांट सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन बट अगर मेरे को शॉर्ट कॉल लेना है इनसाइड द एग्जाम आई मार्क्स सी एंड मूव ऑन ए बी तो रिजेक्ट हो गए बट आई एम नॉट श्योर बिकॉज आई लेव टू चेक दैट फ्रॉम दैट एंगल कि बाकी अरेंजमेंट्स करके मैं देखूँ तो उसमें ऐसा केस आ रहा है बिकॉज इफ दर इज अ केस वेर आई आई कैन मेक ऑल द कंडीशन मेट and e f are not sitting opposite each other tab uh, i would be able to create that so we have reached uh, question 43 so 45 we pause with ek last question kar deta hu main and the remaining questions i'll do in a live tomorrow for you guys five friends pq x y z purchase some notebooks the relevant information is uh, given below so z pq X Y Z. Z purchases eight notebooks more than X. So Z is X plus eight. P and Q together both purchase twenty one. So this sum is twenty one. So this could be one twenty two nineteen, all the way to twenty one. Could be as of that. Are you aware? Q purchases five notebooks less than P. Q is five less than now. Now P Q twenty one. P Q का sum twenty one है. Or difference five है. This can only happen with thirteen and eight. ये mental maths use करके मैंने निकाल लिया. So this can only be thirteen, thirteen eight. X and Y together purchase twenty eight notebooks. And P purchased. Five notebooks more than X, so that means X is also eight because P is thirteen. So X be eight है तो Y twenty है और Z जो है वो sixteen है. So each each notebook is priced for rupees forty. Then what are the total cost of all the notebooks? So you have purchased twenty one, forty nine, sixty five notebooks, and forty rupees each. Forty rupees each. So twenty six hundred is the total cost. चलो आई थिंक आई होप यू गाइज एंजॉय दिस आई एम गोइंग टू वाइंड अप नाउ एंड आई डू द रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चंस इन लाइफ टुमारो राइट थैंक्स थैंक्स अ लॉट एवरीबॉडी एंड सी यू सोन आई एम नॉट एबल टू बीट द चैट सर फोर्टी का हो सकता है डी ओ मैं मैं सॉल्व भी किया फोर्टी को पूरा फोर्टी का एज एड यू विल हैव लुक फॉर मोर दिस थिंग इज नॉट अ वेरी नॉट अ वेरी ग्लोबल क्वेश्चन एंड एग्जाम बिकॉज यू डू अलॉट ऑफ वर्क प्रेजेंट से दैट सी इज द आंसर आई सेट दैट अगर मेरे को इस पॉइंट में मार्क करना है टेक अ रिस्क एंड मार्क इट मार्क्स ही बट यू एक्चुअली डू इट यू विल हैव टू डू इट द अरेंजमेंट यू हैव टू डू यू ट्राई टू अरेंज इट इन मल्टीपल वेज एंड एन सी वॉट्स एपनिंग So I'm I'm okay with D as the answer for for forty. So I'm not saying that thirty C R I because I didn't solve it fully. Okay. Right. So uh, so tomorrow I'll do the next part.
I hope you guys enjoyed this. Right? Get it done. Okay, my session done. So, we'll do it tomorrow. And after that, we'll do it. We'll do it. That question too. I'll do it in question 40 tomorrow. So, we'll do it tomorrow. Okay? Let's go. Thank you so much. So, bye. Do, do uh, sign into the channel. Do subscribe to whichever channel you're watching. Uh, if you're watching on LinkedIn, then please uh, follow me and... Uh, uh, and uh, if you're watching on Nar Narun Sharma channel, you can subscribe to If you're watching on, on YouTube, uh, Narun Sharma Mindworks, then you can watch it from there. And so on. Chalo. Go to Mindworks team, sir. Go to Solver. If you're a player, you can see that you can see that you can see that you can see that in your. Uh, in your uh, ब्राउज़र एक बार ब्राउज़र को भी रिफ्रेश करके देख लेना ब्राउज़र का वो सब डिलीट करके देख लेना जो डाउनलोड हो जाता है ना जस्ट जस्ट क्लियर द कैशियर एंड डेंडोर्ड चलो थैंक यू एवरीबॉडी बाय बाय सी यू